Welcome to the 22nd meeting of Session 6 of the Equalities, Human Rights and Civil Justice Committee. We have no apologies for this morning's meeting. Our first agenda item is consideration of an affirmative instrument, the Draft Scottish Tribunals Listed Tribunals Regulations 2022. And a welcome to the meeting, Ash Reagan, Minister for Community Safety, who is accompanied by Scottish Government officials, Lisa Davidson, Civil Justice Senior Policy Officer, and Martin Brown, Solicitor and Scottish Government Legal Directorate. You're all very welcome. I refer members to paper one and invite the Minister to speak to the draft Scottish Tribunal Regulations 2022. Thank you, Convener, and good morning to the committee. So, yes, as you said, these are the Scottish Tribunals Listed Tribunals Regulations of 2022. Um, they're a relatively straightforward set of regulations that amend the Tribunals Scotland Act of 2014 uh, to insert the Council Tax Reduction Review Panel to the list of tribunals uh, that can be found in Schedule 1. So the 2014 Act created a new simplified statutory framework for tribunals in Scotland by establishing the Scottish Tribunals, which brings together existing tribunal jurisdictions and provides um, a structure for any new jurisdictions. So the Valuation Appeals Committees, the Council Tax Reduction Review Panel and certain functions of the Lands Tribunal for Scotland are to be transferred into Scottish tribunals on the 1st of January next year. And Schedule 1 of the Act sets out the bodies which may transfer into the first tier tribunal. And whilst the Valuation Appeals Committee are listed in that section, the Council Tax Reduction Review Panel isn't, and so this instrument rectifies that. So I understand that the DPLRC can, uh, considered these regulations on the 7th of June, and that they raised no points relating to it, but I'd be happy to answer any questions that the committee may have. Thank you, Convener. Thanks very much, Minister. Um, and are there any questions or comments at this stage? No, nope, that being the case, we move straight on to item two, which is the formal business in relation to the instrument. So our next agenda item is consideration of the motion for approval of the affirmative instrument, and I invite the Cabinet Secretary to move the motion. Formally moved. Do any members have any final comments? No, nope, that being the case, are we all agreed? agreed? Yeah, okay, that is great. That is all agreed. So again, I invite the committee to agree to delegate to me the publication of a short factual report on our deliberations on the affirmative SSI that we have considered today. Is that also agreed? That's great. Thank you very much. And um, that completes consideration of the affirmative instrument. I thank the minister and her officials for attending. Thank you. And we'll move straight on then to the um, next item on our agenda, which is consideration of two negative instruments and refer members to paper two. Do members have any comments on the Gender Recognition, Marriage and Civil Partnership Registration Scotland Amendment Regulations 2022 or the Gender Recognition, Marriage and Civil Partnership Registration Modification Scotland Amendment Order 2022? Rachel. It was just, I wanted to ask um, why there needed to be this amendment. I wasn't quite clear in the, in the detail of the, um, of the papers as to why we, were, why we are amending this. Is there anybody that can answer that in the committee? Um, so it's, a, it's obviously a negative instrument. So there's the um, documents that have accompanied it. Was there anything further? So the, the purpose notes are, are there, yeah? So in the, the paper that you have, the, um, there is the, the kind of procedures around the, the notes, and then there's also the policy note and policy objectives, which were in the papers that were circulated last Thursday? Friday, yeah. So that's... So I guess the, the procedure is that if... if uh, anyone questions um, a negative instrument, then it would be for that member or any member in the Parliament to lodge a motion to annul. Um, so, Maggie. Be doing that. No. More detail, but it's it's fine. I mean, uh, I, I I can see the policy note here. It's just um, it just wasn't clear to me why we're doing this. But anyway. Okay, Maggie. Uh, just uh, by by way, hopefully of of helpful explanation. At the moment, only one of a couple can get a GRC. This enables both to get to, uh, 
to, to get GRCs. If yeah, thanks, Maggie. That's kind of confirmed what I, I was reading within the policy yeah. note, but just needed to get some reassurance about that, that my interpretation of that was correct. Yeah. yeah. I guess um, for, for future, if, if we're particularly wanting to, if folk have questions, then if we get them to the clerks earlier, then, then the clerks can liaise to government to get an answer back for if there's any clarification points. Spice can help us with that as well, obviously. Are you, are you content? I mean, the, 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 the kind of further motion in terms of clarity, you, um, you obviously could contact government yourself to, to get that information now, but I think from us it's just to note that that, that these are going through and it would be obviously they'd then go to the, the chamber. Okay, so that being the case, um, and there's just to confirm that members are content to formally not to make any comments to the Parliament on, on the instruments. Um, that therefore concludes uh, consideration of the SSIs and will now move into private for our final items on our agenda. Thank you.